Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another edition of MJ Every Day, a competing based episode for you guys today. And I'm probably going to hurt a bunch of you with this episode. I'm going to give you some truths that probably a lot of you don't want to hear. Uh, but I'm going to do the episode nonetheless because I think it's an important episode and I think it's going to reach a lot of you and hopefully it can help a lot of you make a, a better informed decision about about your competition uh, plans and your, your, your future in, in competing. So this episode is going to be about competing as a teenager. And when I say competing, obviously I'm talking about competing in bodybuilding, fitness, figure, bikini, your physique based sports. So I'm talking about competing as in going through a contest prep, getting stage lean, super, super lean, going through that whole process as a teenager or even extending it into your, your 20s, your early 20s. Uh, let's take that kind of age range, let's say between you know 16 to 23, 24. So competing as a teenager is what I'm going to call this episode. I want to talk to you guys about my personal view on this. And I, I have a very strong personal view on, on teens and, and people in their early 20s competing. I'm very passionate about this and I talk from experience. So for those of you who don't know, I did my first natural bodybuilding competition as a teenager, as a 19 year old. I then went and did one the year after as a 20 year old, and then the year after as a 21 year old, and then the year after as a 22 year old. And then I took a big chunk of time off and didn't go back to the stage until I went back as a men's physique athlete uh, when, I was, when I was 26. So I took a full five years off before, before returning to the stage. So I'm gonna talk to you guys from personal experience and I'm also going to talk to you guys through experience, third, third hand experience, second hand experience, third person experience through what I've seen with a lot of people who have competed as teenagers and are now, you know, in their, in their late 20s, early 30s, so on and so forth. And then people who haven't, who kind of entered the competing side of things a little bit later on in life and have done very well. So my personal take on competing as a teenager is I'm completely against it. I'm completely against it, guys. I really, I'm not an advocate for it at all. I don't think it is a good idea. And this is the main reason why. If you're looking at doing well as a bodybuilder, or a physique athlete, a figure athlete, a bikini athlete, any type of physique based sports, if you're looking at doing well, perhaps earning your pro card, you know, going on and, and, and you know, being one of the best in the world, during your teens, and your early 20s, your natural hormone profile is the best it is ever going to get for building muscle. Your testosterone to estrogen ratio is the best it's ever going to be for building muscle. Your cortisol, your natural cortisol regulation is the best it's ever going to be for building muscle. Your natural insulin sensitivity, your, your whole hormone profile, the whole hormonal environment as a, as a teenager, late teens, early 20s, it's never gonna be as good as it is during that time period for building muscle, for building a foundation of a physique. We all know that contest preps mess with hormone profiles big time, especially if you're getting proper stage lean, you're getting Christmas tree through your back, guys are getting shredded glutes, you're getting really, really stage lean. It completely messes with your hormones. It messes with your androgens, your testosterone, your estrogen, your prolactin. It messes with your thyroid hormones, messes with your insulin, messes with cortisol, just throws a big spatter into the works of, of your whole hormonal environment that really is going to be detrimental to your muscle building abilities during that period of time. Because of that, I'm a huge advocate for using that period of time during your late, during your teenage years, your late teens, your early 20s, to build a fantastic foundation. Use that, that 
a hormonal environment that's the best it's ever gonna be to build the base of, the phys of your physique, to build a basic physique, a fundamental physique that you can then go and improve and sculpt and, and you know bring up proportions and do what you have to do throughout your 20s, late 20s, early 30s, 40s, 50s, however long you wanna compete for. I really do believe that you're gonna get nothing out of competing at such an early age. I really, I, I, you know, I've had this conversation with so many people, I've seen so many people go through it, and I really, I cannot rationalize a reason why you would want to rush to the stage. One of the things that, that, that you know, young, young guys really don't get, young guys and girls really don't get, the stage is gonna be there year after year after year after, like the, the comp competing's not going anywhere. It's gonna be there. You're gonna be able to do shows until you, forever, until your body starts breaking down, you're gonna be able to do shows. I don't understand why there's this rush to wanna get to the stage at such a young age and jeopardize your possible long-term success as a competitive athlete because you're throwing a spanner into that hormonal environment that is so geared to allowing you to build a, to build a, a, a physique foundation that you can carry on as a competitive athlete throughout your competitive career. I really don't understand that. And some people argue me, they'll say, yeah, it's all experience though. You know, you get better at dieting, you get better at, at the whole competing process. And I understand that, but you can still do that later on. You can do that in your mid 20s, in your late 20s, in your early 30s. The, the stage is gonna be there year after year after year. So from my perspective, guys, I really can't see any upside to jumping on stage as a teenager, as a 20 year old, in your early 20s. I really think from my perspective, use that time to build that fundamental physique, to build that base, and then look at competing in your mid 20s, the earliest. The, the, from, from my perspective, that's the earliest that I would recommend anybody compete is mid 20s. With that foundational physique, then you can start getting the experience. You can start, you know, figuring out your, your competition strategies, understand how to get stage lean with the benefit of having that base physique that you've built because you have completely crushed that amazing hormonal environment, that once in a lifetime hormonal environment during your late teens and early 20s. Guys, that's my take on it. And that's a wrap for today's episode of MJ every day i know there's going to be a lot of opinions a lot of discussions about this video so let me know what you think you know i'm coming from experience i competed when i was 19 so I, you know i'm not kind of just talking out of the blue here i'm coming from personal experience and what i've seen a lot of people do i'm interested to get your thoughts as well so drop them down below in the comments let's get a little bit of a discussion happening on this video but that's a wrap for today's episode of mj every day as always don't forget to hit the subscribe button subscribe to our youtube channel turn your post notifications on both on your mobile your cell phone and your desktop pc so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the massive joe's youtube channel until tomorrow, I'm coming to you from MassiveJoes.com. Stay massive.